Hi, I'm Ajay Banerjee. It was an eventful day at Dharamsala. And uh, the first of all, the US delegation met the Dalai Lama. And after meeting the Dalai Lama, the delegation was at a public felicitation ceremony conducted by the Central Tibetan Administration. That is the name of the Tibetan government in exile here at Dharamsala. Uh, the, the delegation had very important things to say at the public reception. First of all, the chairman or the lead of the delegation, Michael McCall, who is the chairman of the Foreign Affairs Committee of the US House, uh, said that we have spoken to the Dalai Lama and we want to take speak to China about taking forward a free Tibet. At the public reception, McCall again said the Chinese Communist Party continues to threaten the freedom of the Tibetan people. And he said that uh, the Chinese want to inter insert themselves into finding the successor of the next Dalai Lama. And the US would not allow such an insertion by China into trying to choose the next successor of the Dalai Lama. Former Speaker of the US House, Nancy Pelosi, also made very important words at the public reception. She said things have changed and China must get ready for that. Another of the congressmen who had come as was part of the delegation uh, also made an important point. He said that things have changed and first of all, China should start releasing the political prisoners who are captured in China, which includes the Pancham Lama, who is missing since 1995 when he was six years of age. Now, things have to be taken forward. The US delegation also mentioned about the the Resolve Tibet Act, which has been passed by the House unanimity in the US and is expected to be signed in by US President Joe Biden. When this will be signed, how the Tibet takes it forward, how the Tibetans take it forward, what will be the kind of negotiations with China, if any, will China restart the negotiations stalled in 2010 or will there be a fresh kind of uh, way to do the negotiations? I told him that uh, with all the war and conflict in the world, that his message brings peace, and he talked a lot about the science of the brain of the Tibetan monk is not, does not have conflict and anger, but is very peaceful. I think moving forward, the science behind the, the brain of the Buddhist monk is going to be very helpful. I also talked about moving forward uh, with China uh, to have a free Tibet. Okay, we have to go. How would do you see India? Would you, would you see a kind of uh, restart of negotiations? Sir, restart of negotiations, sir? Restart of negotiations? No, it's in our, it's in our legislation. And it's up to the State Department now. We're going to pressure. This is Arya Banerjee from Dharamsala. Keep watching for more updates on the same subject in the next couple of days.